A true horror story, do not put dolls in your homes. Horror movie stories mostly revolve around spirits inhabiting children's toys that control the owner of the game or the younger member of the family, or the spirit moves the game to carry out its orders to begin a series of events and crimes that complicate the scene, but in the end we know that the events are not real and are just fictional stories, but it is not always that simple, reality sometimes surprises us with stories worse than fiction. One of the most terrifying films that dominated the top of horror films in Hollywood, and several parts of it were released, the movie Annabelle is a true story and events of a spirit inhabiting a doll that is still in a museum specializing in the supernatural and the occult inside a closed glass box that says no approach. Due to the power of the spirit controlling it, which began to announce itself through that terrifying cloth doll with its short red hair, its orange triangular nose, its frightening smile and its white dress since 1970. At first, Donna or her friend did not care about the doll's strange movements, so that sometimes they decided to doubt their memory. It is impossible for them to imagine that there is a demonic spirit inside this doll, so it moves it from one place to another. It can be justified in that one of the two girls moved the doll without him noticing. She tells the other, but it gets more difficult as strange messages appear, written in untidy, childish handwriting, and each time she carries a message of salvation, such as help me. With the progression of the seriousness of the matter and the appearance of blood on the hands of the doll, Donna and her friend decided to seek help from a spiritual medium to discover the matter. Indeed, a spiritual medium attended, who explained the matter to them that the doll is inhabited by the spirit of a child named Annabelle Higgins, who died at the age of seven years in their home. That doll inhabited her so she could communicate with them and all the soul wanted was to be their friend for the couple to reveal the truth about the doll and that it is inhabited by an evil demonic entity, they asked Donna and her friend to move out of the house. The couple also agreed with Donna to move the doll to their house to study it, but that evil spirit was not satisfied with the decision, so it resisted violently while putting it in their car until it almost caused a fatal accident. The couple until Ed Warren managed to control it and put it in a sealed glass box to join the collections of the Lorraine Warren Museum of the Occult in Connecticut. Until now, this doll raises a lot of controversy with its various incidents, starting with terrorizing the hearts of museum goers who hear its angry laughter, through causing the death of a visitor after the rumor of its escape from the museum, which terrified an entire city for fear of its vengeful spirit, came to an end. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.